All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in downtown Hartford. Joined by Nate. Good morning. Hey, good morning. How are you? Doing well. We're, we're talking centripetal force. Yeah, yeah. We're actually going to play some centripetal soccer here okay, today. Okay, sounds yeah. fun. So, I mean, we've got this cool little game right here where we take a ball and then we spin it in a circle right here. And if we release it at the right time, we pull the top off, we should be able to... Oh, oh I missed just... So close. Yeah. Um, and what we're trying to do is release it at just the right time when the ball is already headed in this direction, right when it's at this edge of the circle, um, and it'll continue on that, what we call the tangent, um, forward into this goal. So I'm going to try it again because I don't want to miss on camera twice in a row. <laughs> oh, oh, and I did. I went did. to the so, left, went to the right. So third time's a charm. It's all about... Yeah, 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 Excellent. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so centripetal force is a really, really interesting um, concept and idea, and we talk about it a lot in physics um, and here at the Science Center. Uh, and it's really just the, um, the force of something pushing towards the center of a circle. Okay. Uh, right now, the centripetal force uh, is the outside of this circle right here. It is pushing the ball in towards the center. When we talk about it, centripetal force a lot, we usually use maybe a string to talk about it. Yeah. Um, and that... This string right here is the centripetal force keeping this bead in this circle. So if I take um, and I hold this string right here, Mark, and if you push this out towards the camera, it bounces back, right? Yep. Because there is tension in this string when it gets to here, and there's a force that's applied that bounces it back. But what if you do it this way? Yeah, it bounces back towards the center again, too, yeah. right? Oh, I'm yeah, going out from yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So no matter where you are throwing it to, it's going to bounce back towards the center. Well, when we are spinning it in a circle, that force is constantly happening because there's tension in it the whole time. So it's being bounced back in towards the center when it's here, and when it's here, and when it's here, and when it's here, and here, 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 all the way around, um, creating that tension on the string, keeping it uh, in the, the forces going towards the center. Um, and since it happens so fast, we just end up seeing it as a circle. Nice. And if Makes I sense. let go of it at any point, that force is no longer applied to it, and it just continues whichever direction it was headed. Gotcha. Um, and if I let go of it while it's right here, it was headed in this direction, actually. Um, and it, so it'll continue off onto that tangent, which is why we have our little cheat sheet right here for how to make <laughs> your centripetal force goals. And it'll go off in there. This takes a little bit of timing, though. Awesome. Because it's moving so fast. All right. Uh, we have a classic centripetal force demonstration. We'll have to do this pretty quickly. Yeah. So um, I have a board right here that if we swing it around, it'll yep. go around. Um, and we can actually put, let's just do some balls with some cups in them. Or uh, opposite, cups with balls in them. Cups with balls. So you're going to put tension on that string when you swing it around. And yep. it should go all the way upside down and back around. Success. Like that. And if awesome. you had let go of it right at the top, it would have flown right off and hit me in the head. <laughs> Not um, good. Because of the, tan the tangent um, and the way, the direction that it was headed. Awesome. And you often see people do this with water, too, and that can get a little yes. messy yes. if you don't do it correctly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, you guys started Character Days uh, last yeah. weekend. You've got another one happening today. Yeah, yeah. We have um, Sonic and Knuckles are, are coming by today from the, the classic video games. You can come take a picture with them uh, from 11 to 1 um, and maybe even try to uh, run as much of your energy <laughs> out uh, and see if you can beat them in a race, maybe. And their visit is part of general admission and uh, membership. Yeah. Yep, and we'll have uh, live science around the building and all of our awesome exhibits that you can come check out. Good stuff. All right, Nate, thank you so much. And, of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.